So this video is for you if you want to import the QIF file to uh, Quicken, one of the latest versions of Quicken, but there is no way to, no easy way to import them unless you convert the file you purchase a software. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert the QIF file uh, for free to, uh, so you can import it. There are a couple of extra steps, uh, but uh, it will take maybe five minutes or ten minutes, and uh, and then you can convert the QIF file for free. All right. So this is the the official page. A couple of things are missing here. Uh, I actually use a, a PayPal. QIF file. Um, so let me let me go through the steps. Okay, so obviously I have the file from PayPal. I downloaded it, and uh, I'm not gonna go through the the issue that I had. It is basically when I tried to import it, it didn't import because um, because a couple of uh, things were missing from the file. So the first thing you wanna do is edit the file and you want to add this information, this code to the top like this. You can rename it this part, leave the end, but you can rename this to any anything you want. But uh, this is actually going to be a temporary account, so I would just recommend leaving it as it is. Okay, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go back and you have to go to File, New, so basically, the, the the extra step that you have to do is uh, you have to create a new file and then import it and then copy everything from that new file to your actual Quicken um, file that uh, you are using. Okay, so let me import it first. You will want to click Start from a QIF file, select file. So I'm gonna select. Let me see if I can do it like this. Yeah. So you can just select it. I, I, I just dragged it in. Same thing. And then here you click Don't Use Quick and Mobile. So now it's going to start importing it. It will take uh, a little bit of time. Okay, so it imported it. It didn't take too much time. And now I have all my transactions here. So the next step is basically to export it from here. Uh, you have to export it through. Oh, let me see. Okay, so you have to export it through a QF, QXF. That's the format that you will need. It's either called Quick and Windows Transfer File, or or just Quick and Transfer File. So one of the two, but the main thing is that it's a QFF, QXF uh, format. So let me go back. Um, so this, these are, again, all the transactions from PayPal. So I'm going to export this, QXF. So I'm going to export it to the same place. Okay, so it exported, so I can now close this one. I'm gonna go back to my original one. So actually, obviously, I don't wanna disclose my uh, finances, so I'm gonna just open up a new, but this should be your main account. So let's let's assume this is your main account, okay? So I'm gonna open the, uh, you know, the main account, okay? And then, so I'm gonna go import and, uh, and this Q, QXF, QF, QXF. Okay, so this is the file. Open. So obviously, if you already have, a, if you already have, and you sh you probably already have, if it's not the first time you are importing it. So let's say you have a PayPal account, right? In, already in your in your account so what you will want to do the last step is basically copy the whole thing and drag it over to to your other account to the main account so you just drag that everything over so that's the last step 
Uh, if you run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment. I will try to answer that as soon as I can. And uh, I hope this helps save you some money. All right. Next time.